is day 32 on the Modern Day Homesteader. I am excited. Our um, orange oil, which was our what we're going to use to fight fire ants in our garden, it has arrived. It is an orange oil concentrate. We got um, Medina or Medina kind, and um, there's an article about it on Mother Earth News. If you search for orange oil and fire ants, lots of good reviews. It's totally safe in the garden, safe for plants. You can actually use it even as a diluted cleaner on your counter, so it's very food safe, friendly, organic, all of that. So we, I, what I've just done is mix up two gallon jugs with, um, you just put about a fourth cup of orange oil, three out, two to three ounces of orange oil, and a drop of dish soap in a gallon of hot water. So I've mixed up these two. I'm gonna put these on some of our fire ant mounds in the yard that maybe didn't quite make, get what they needed. And then I've got a spray pump that I'm gonna use for some of the soil in our garden. So let's take a look. Let's see if it will work. We are wrapping up a yard sale. As you can see behind me, we have lots of stuff still left, but it's leaving our house no matter. We've had fun time with traffic and things this morning. Granny came out to help us out, but now it is garden work time. A couple of facts about the orange oil extract. One, the way it works is that it naturally, it um, basically disintegrates the exoskeleton of the um, of the ants, kind of like the DE Earth scratches the exoskeleton. This sort of disintegrates it or whatever, and um, it ends up, they suffocate. The ants suffocate the queen as well. So the bad thing is that cats hate it, which is good if you don't want cats in your yard. But we do have a cat that likes to be in our yard. So I'm hoping that if we put this on the fire ants and in the garden, the cat will leave those alone and she can still have plenty of the rest of the land to roam and romp around. This is one mound that I put some DE earth on, but I was just going to make sure that I didn't see any activity. It's pretty big, so I'm scratching around. I was going to see if I saw any ant activity. If I did, I was going to zap it with orange oil, but I'm not seeing much activity. Looks like our DE earth did the total trick on this one. Let me see if there's any others I need to shoot with orange oil um, and that we maybe missed with our DE earth, or sometimes that takes a couple of um, applications of the DE earth, so I might just throw some orange oil on it instead. Let's walk around and see what other ones we can find. We are doing better than I thought here. Um, I think I just poked no fewer than 10 old anthills that fire ant mounds that I put DE earth on. None of them are active, but I did find one active in our old garden square box. You can see that. I'm going to pour some orange oil on it. As you can see, I drenched the entire mound. I used most of the gallon. I still have a little bit left. It is really, really close to our strawberry plant, but I am not concerned. Some of the fire ants scattered, but really we're looking to kill the queen. This should do the trick. And you can see how close it is to the strawberry plant with no trouble. I will come back in um, probably sometime tomorrow and poke it again and see if we need a second application or if it's all done. I was trying to find a different thing that was safe to do for fire ants in the garden. That's where I came across the orange oil. One method, of course, that everyone keeps saying is fantastic, and we've used this for um, yellow jackets in the ground, is boiling water. It works great if you find a yellow jacket hole. You can boil about a gallon, maybe a quart at a time, of water and pour it on there, and it'll go down. It'll kill them all. With fire ants, you need three gallons of boiling water. The logistics of three gallons of boiling water for every fire ant mound in our garden was way too much. We don't have an old fire pit cauldron or maybe we would try it. So that was a little bit much. I'm much easier for us to do this orange oil method. I was just checking out our squash um, plants as I walked by and I see some eggs from squash bugs. So I'm going to pull them off since I'm here right now with as many squash plants as we have. It's 
pretty difficult to check the underside and the top of every leaf. So I'm probably gonna come back, spritz around here with some orange oil as well. Should do the trick once I get the sprayer. One added benefit of using orange oil on your fire ants is that it smells fantastic. I am gonna dilute it even more than I have. Right now I'm diluting it about two and a half ounces, two to three ounces per gallon. I'm gonna dilute it way more than that, probably um, another 100%, probably an ounce to an ounce and a half per gallon. And I use it as a spray on my kitchen just to make sure none of those little tiny black sugar ants wanna find their way into our food. As I'd hoped, our garden sprayer did come in. I've mixed up the orange oil concentrate along with the water. So I'm gonna spray this on the garden bed, totally safe. Um, I'm excited to see if the fire ants will be gone after this. Now that we've gotten soaker hoses, John got a couple of deals yesterday at um, the Habitat Restore. We have enough soaker hoses to keep in each bed. Now we need to get on a regular watering rotation depending on how much rainfall we get. Um, I would think we need to water, I've got to look at the calculations and the drip, but probably one or two hours of soaker hoses once or twice a week. But we aren't on a rotation yet with our beds. Right now we're just watering when it looks like it needs it. We need to get on a schedule. Hopefully that will happen this week. Well, I am encouraged by the way things are coming along. We have um, gotten all the soaker hoses put in place. We're at least trying to start a watering schedule. Our um, orange oil came in to fight the fire ants, both in our garden and in the mounds. So we are doing great. I did see the squash bugs. I may end up putting some of the Monterey organic garden spray on those. I haven't done that yet. That might be something for tomorrow, but I am encouraged. I hope you are encouraged about the way your garden is growing. You might be further ahead in your planting. You might be further behind. Fire ants might not be the issue in your area or where you live, but they are here. I bet you have an issue of your own. I encourage you to tackle it, to see what you can do and just plug along and don't be afraid to fail. That's what we're doing, trial and error, um, trying to see what we can grow. I hope you can grow along with us. Thanks, we'll see you tomorrow.